So 18 months ago, I put together an article on the perfect media server, and it's still to date one of Linux Server IO's most popular articles. Um, I talked through a lot of quite advanced topics at the end, uh, rather than showing you how to actually put the server together yourself. So the thinking behind today's video is look at the last 18 months of experience and little tweaks that I've made to the system. There aren't very many, um, to be honest with you. Uh, but also the, the main purpose is to provide a, a comprehensive installation guide for those of you that aren't familiar with Ansible and uh, some of the more advanced techniques that I was talking about before. So I'll take you through installing Debian. I have a virtual machine ready to take you through that step by step. Then we'll start setting up um, MergerFS to allow us to pool multiple drives under one mount point on the file system. I'll explain that later, hopefully. Um, by the end of this video, you'll have an idea of what MergerFS is and does and why you might want it. Um, I'll take you through everything, to be honest. Absolutely everything, looking at uh, how we make directories, creating the, the FS tab um, setup, how we mount each drive one by one. And then uh, once we've got that, move on to installing Docker. And this, this video is basically designed to be an aid to the article. So we, we will go through in some detail what's written here, but the idea behind this video is to really show you me clicking around, typing as I go. Because one of the things I found the most difficult when I was learning or setting this stuff up for the first time was, uh, you know, you read a, you read a section this one, for example, let's add an entry to cron with cron tab minus E. It's not difficult, but when you're new, everything is difficult. So just watching someone, just watching someone do it, hopefully that will make the difference for a lot of you. And uh, we're going to go through all sorts of other stuff like <clears throat> the configuration of network file sharing. So Samba, don't worry if you don't know what these things are, we'll go through it. So Samba, NFS, um, but then we'll also do some cool stuff with Docker Compose. Shows you how, show how you can um, run multiple applications from one file. I'll even teach you about bash aliases because they're really cool and uh, hopefully you'll learn something. We've got some uh, stuff later on, some actual, um, well this is baked into the article, but I'm gonna actually type every command out and show you. But this is taken from my live server, which the article was written to serve, uh, to create in the first place 18 months ago. And it was just documentation of that. So this, this server Epsilon uh, hasn't been reinstalled since February last year, which is crazy for me. Um, but yeah, we'll come on to that later. And uh, so I've also, going to include a couple of uh, user interface options for you, web UIs, because I know some people prefer those over the command line. Personally, I don't, but I know that some people do. I used to, but I hopefully, but I think hopefully by the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of how you can manage a file server using a shell. And you really, it's very, very uh, light touch. You don't need to do an awful lot at all. So the other thing we'll look at, um, so this was cockpit UI. This is a, I think it's a Red Hat Fedora type project. I, I honestly don't know. I'm, I might be making that up. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a dashboard for your server. Kind of cool. And also we'll take a look at Portana, which is a, a Docker container user interface. Um, to manage your container, something like Docker Man, maybe an Unraid, or I don't know of any others. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's the article, that's the thinking behind today. Um, I would strongly advise you to, if you are at any point confused about any of the software that I'm talking about, go back to my 2016 article where I talk about the requirements I was trying to fulfill. 
we've all got requirements. It sounds quite businessy, but hey, they when you're writing an article, they they look good in a list, don't they? Um, we're introducing the tools, so we've got things like Merger FS. This explains what it is, what it does, and we'll come back to this later on. Yes, I did reuse the same picture because I'm lazy. Um, Snap Raid is there, so that explains what Snap Raid is and what it does. Uh, something about Docker as well, also some stuff about Debian. And then this stuff down here about Ansible. I still think Ansible is, is great. Uh, I still think everyone should try and use it, but uh, to understand automation, you need to have done it first manually a few times. So what we'll take you through in this video is doing things manually. And then um, maybe in a few months, you'll be able to move on to some automation yourself. All right, let's get to it.